this land of 1.2 billion people in this country, you cannot change anything just by policy. Unless you make it into an emotional movement, nothing really happens. This effort of Swachh Bharat by the Prime Minister, I feel that is the effort he is trying to touch the pride of the Indian people so that this becomes a mass movement. I can vouch for this because we have run this campaign across Tamil Nadu involving a huge mass of people. We started with various things wherever people's emotions are. We made this a project to clean the temples of Tamil Nadu. Even today, Sunday mornings, many of the temples in Tamil Nadu are cleaned by our volunteers by their own dint, no support from outside and it is also involved various people and just about everybody gets engaged. A place that you come to with a certain sense of emotion, enough emotion for you to feel worshipful, keeping it clean will become imperative if you just create the necessary inspiration for that and that has happened. In terms of cleaning villages, you can see a distinct difference in Tamil Nadu today because people have taken this up in a big time. Some villages have done fantastic, some are okay. Cleaning up the country, cleaning up your locality or cleaning up your village or town will not happen just by the broom. It's important that you need trees, plants, vegetation, flowers, fruits happening around you for this country or this land to f look clean and feel clean and feel wonderful for all of us to exist. So as a part of this, we launched Project Green Hands, which is a massive movement. Today it's the largest ecological movement in the country. All this happened because mainly we wanted to clean. When I noticed the Wellingiri Hills, where at the foothills of which we are, when I noticed there is enormous amount of filth thrown upon the hills, by the so-called devotees, we took about four thousand volunteers up the mountain and brought down nearly four truckloads of plastics, bottles, waste, this kind of things. Many animals were getting killed by eating this. Now when we say cleanliness, cleanliness is not only about our body, about our home, about our street, the nation being clean essentially means that all life can flourish, that we are trying to create an atmosphere for all life to happen the way they need to happen. We introduce cloth bags, even today when the devotees come, our volunteers will stand there, take away their plastic bags and whatever else they may dispose there and give them cloth bags free of cost so that they don't throw anything that is not biodegradable up there. This moment has grown and we have planted over twenty-seven million trees, this is hundred percent people's movement. Apart from planting trees, increasing the green cover, the most important thing that's happened is people's minds have changed. How do we make such a movement happen? The thing is to create an emotional connect. First six years I spent planting trees in people's minds, believe me that's the hardest terrain. And now transplanting is happening, twenty-seven million trees have been planted, all by people's effort. I made them sit down under a tree and experience. See, as you breathe, to cleanse the body, to support this life, constantly you have to inhale oxygen and leave out carbon dioxide. Similarly, the plant life has to do it, but in a reverse manner. Or in other words, what you exhale, the tree inhales. What the tree exhales, you inhale. This is the relationship without which you cannot do. Cleaning the atmosphere is between the two of us. This relationship between a human being and the tree is a question of cleaning the atmosphere. You're cleaning one aspect of it, the tree is doing another aspect of it, together we function. So making the nation clean without getting the mass involved, without inspiring the people that this is something worth doing, without stinging upon their pride, without bringing an experiential, emotional sense of attachment to what they're doing in this country of 1.2 billion people, 
if you really are serious about making this happen, we have to make this into an emotional moment across the nation. Apart from the mass movement, which is definitely necessary to cleanse our cities, towns and villages, there is a larger problem where there is industrial waste, waste coming out of mega cities, this can't be cleaned by people. This needs a system. When we say a system, we're always thinking it has to be done by the government. I feel it needs to be commercialized. In this universe, there is nothing which is waste. It is just that when we do not know how to use something, we call it waste. But in reality, there is nothing which is waste. Today, there are any number of technologies as to how to convert or transform filth into wealth. We have to bring these technologies, we have to allow private enterprise to invest in these technologies and offer solutions to cities. We are expecting every small little industry to put up an effluent plant. Why is it? As we have water supply, as we have electricity, why can't we have mega effluent plants built by private sector per liter of treatment? You can pay for it and have it treated and it's compulsory that you have to do it as you can, as you pay for power, you pay for effluent treatment. Solutions like this need to happen. It is very, very important in today's world. Unless something makes commercial sense, it's not going to be sustainable. So making this transformation of turning filth into wealth has to be brought about on a large scale. This can only be done with the so support of the government, but only with the involvement of private sector. If we have to become a dominant nation on this planet, dominant not over somebody, but in terms of our capability, one of the biggest things that we have to do, one of the most vital things that we have to do is Swachh Bharat.